Awalnya begini, lalu jadi begitu. Selamat menonton. Run, bitch. Run. Come to papa, my boy. No. Hello, me again in the interactive and informative channel. And now I'm gonna doing a double review. One is Magic Bell Farming in one world and another one is ancestral tesseract dimension function okay now i'm gonna equip along with fuel pack and sorrow to increase the blocks of magic bells uh some called it buff farming you know what buff yeah so here we go so now we are not in the halfway of this world and i'm running out of fuel pack i reload it 200 to pack and now only five left so I'm gonna take another 200 and so we're gonna see how many blocks will increase by using full pack because it is the function and how about the intentional dimension I will gonna see later the function of itself maybe not in harvesting maybe in breaking oh yeah Riba, riba. So we are in the last two of final round in this world. That means I almost finished. Wait, wait. Oh, both of my plant is full. That means it's over 10k blocks of magic bell. So the fuel pack is working. Nice. It worth the price. So I'm gonna drop here and see oh damn it i blocked my way in so by this chance i'm gonna do a little experiment to see how many gems i can collect in one magic bell farming world as you see the starting number is 187k now i'm gonna see how many we can reach by the gems amount so I keep breaking to collect another blocks Ooh, now it's the breaking time I think hey yo amico so we are finishing this harvesting and I'm gonna calculate total of blocks that I have gathered in one world so the total is 10,470 blocks of magic bells using pill packs and sorrow and I'm not gonna sell these blocks because I'm gonna continue in from one into two and another three worlds of magic bell farmings. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna serve for all of you the quality content. And now we're gonna see the fuel packs that I've consumed. So I consumed about 256 fuel packs because there are only 144 fuel packs. Do your math, children! So, I'm doing a little pot here, collecting all the gems and the leftover seeds. Since my backpack is maxed out, I dropped 200 seeds and I'm gonna jump up there to collecting the leftover. Yeah, bounce Mario, bounce! Okay, I think I'm gonna skip it. And let's see the amount of seeds that I collected. It's about 216 seeds. Alright! That's sweet! Much more than chandelier. So we're gonna continue into breaking part. Hey, I'm gonna break all of these blocks here to see how many gems and seeds that I can earn. Of course, with the help of Ancestral, we're gonna review this item. And before it, I'm gonna drink a milk first. Mm. Ah. Mm. Yeah, it's a sweet smell of cow. So, my starting number and my gems are. 187k now turn into 215k 
Okay, we have a chicken here running. Whose chicken is that? Oh, jumping. Bah, bah, bah. Mm. I never know a chicken is still wanted. A WL. Mm. Okay, without further ado, we're gonna start the experiment to see how many seeds, how many blocks increase, and the function of ancestral of dimension. The price is 800 WLS. So let's see if it's worth or not. Oh, I think it's worth it. See the blue light appears? That means one bonus blocks for you yeah see if it appears again okay it appears again that means another bonus blocks for you so we can only use it when breaking the block not by harvesting the trees Oh, I still curious about this ancestral, so I decide to put a little experiment here using 53 blocks. Okay, that's a good start. Plus one, gaining one block. Wish me luck, please. Oh, please, 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 please. Okay, we gaining two more blocks. So that is that means plus three. Oh, right. Keep breaking, keep breaking, and keep lucky, keep lucky. Hello and quick. I'm gay. He says that. Like my previous intro. Oh my god! Like that. Okay. So I think. Okay. I think there is no, but still have plus five now. I'm done with it. Now we gonna save the bonuses blocks. Okay, 13 magic bells. Maybe around 10 or 9 magic bells by equipping ancestral, which is quite good. Well, worked for me because magic bells rarity is 95. So we're gonna check the total gems. Yeah. Hmm, I expecting around 90k. Oh, that is the previous guy. And quick. What? Only 78k! Which is the same amount of chandelier. This is pathetic. You gotta be kidding me! Why? Magic prosperity is 95! It should be 90k, man! God damn it! Oh, I know the problem, eh? It's because of you and Quip! Because of you! You made me bad luck! Go away! You cursed! Go away, yeah! Go! Okay. So we're gonna move over into the seeds final score. Okay. Let's see. We're gonna add it up. Hmm. 3,300 seeds. In one world. That I earned. Which is awesome! Okay, I decided to replanting again seeds until the world is full by riding this chicken blow. So now we're gonna check the surplus seeds after I replant it. One, two, three! Yo! That is insane! 700 plus! Oh, I'm shocked, man! That is 5 times the chandelier that I have. Chandelier only gave birth about 200 seeds then decreased into 150 seeds. But this is 700 seeds. There is Chupa Lava. 
you know chupa lava okay i don't know too okay there is five times the chain okay i gotta be quick now wait and quip again the guy who bring me bad luck okay let him be so the conclusion magic belts is still expensive and you might want to invest your diamond locks on it so i predict it will be a future farmables what you troll me with that face no shoe go away i don't want you here okay and you have to buff farming using two packs and ancestral of dimensions to keep it in the right number of seeds so you can increase it from one world to another world okay see you next time bye